Good afternoon, Raider Nation. I'm Landon Weller here with Coach Hudson coming off his county championship and incoming to his sectional tournament. So we're going to give him a little interview. You ready, Coach? Yes. All right, first question. Um, how do you prepare your team for three games in one week? Well, really, we, we prepare for one game. And then, you know, you can get by that first game, you worry about the second. But you just kind of worry about what's in front of you. Uh, Lapel's a big challenge for us. We played them on senior night and got beaten overtime, led till the last 35 seconds. So it's a thing where we know we can play. We just kind of got to try and put it all together for 32 mm -hmm. minutes. Yeah, I like that philosophy, one game at a time. Um, what players do you think, what player or players do you think have played the biggest role in a successful season like this? Well, we've had our four seniors, we've talked about leading the charge. And when you think of Cameron Wise and uh, Lauren Luce and Reese Baker and Kendall Thrasher, that those, those four have kind of led the charge for us. But we've had a lot of a lot of players have contributed uh, across the board. But um, you know, I, I think their leadership and experience has certainly shown this year mm -hmm. and uh, throughout the season. Yeah, you guys have quite the quite the nucleus on the team. Um, so now now that you've won the tournament county tournament as a boys coach, girls coach, and a player. What are some similarities and differences between them? I think, um, you know, there's much more similarities than differences. But the one thing that I would say is that in all the equation of those, it's, it's kids that play together, teams that play hard, have a good work ethic, and are unselfish and play their roles. And I think when you do that, um, and the one thing is we always talk about is putting the team first. And I think when you look at teams that win championships, they generally have a great work ethic. Um, they play their roles and they have the right approach every day. They have the right approach and the right attitude. We haven't had very many bad practices. We've had a lot of really good practices. And when you are very productive, whether you're shooting, whether you're running your offense, defense, it's just um, contagious. And I, I think that um, our success has been really just our approach generally. Yeah, I've always felt like there's no I in team. So I really like that. Um, how big of an advantage do you think it is now that the sectional has been moved to Wapahani? Well, you always like playing on your home court because it's familiar. Mm -hmm. But by the same token, um, you got to go out. You know, it's the, the basket's the same height and the, the court's 84 feet for both teams. So you got to go out and execute. You know, lapels played here. They're going to feel comfortable since they played here the other night. But I think the fact that we have our home crowd. This is where we practice every day. We want to use that as much to an advantage as we possibly can. So I think our girls, when it did get switched to Wapahani, I think they were very excited about uh, playing here. You know, um, and, and, and our sectional is one of the toughest in the state. When you look at, um, you know, the amount of um, quality teams. Yep. I know the community is excited to watch the girls take on this challenge. Um, one more question. Um, you take, you played lapel just a week ago. What are some things you can take away from that game to prepare for sectionals? Well, one of the things that we have to do is we gave up 12 points in second chance points. So we have to do a really good job rebounding. Uh, we want to keep them off the line. We did a good job of, of getting back in transition. We got a little stale late in the game executing, so we have to make sure that we run our offense and we just keep executing. And the big thing is just keep your emotions in check. In a big game like this, you don't want, uh, you know, a mental mistake or, you know, somebody to lose control of their emotions, and that leads to uh, momentum for the other team. Yeah, I like that. All right, there you have it, folks. Thanks, Coach Hudson, and good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.